Hi. Last weekend was very busy here at Canada United Church because we had the great joy and opportunity to welcome John Bell. John Bell is a famous hymn writer. There's many hymns in our hymn books that he wrote. He's also a minister in Scotland near Glasgow, if I'm not mistaken, with the Presbyterian Church. And he's a very known uh, speaker and worship uh, workshop uh, leader for worship renewal and liturgy renewal in across North America, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, name it. He visited all and gave workshop in all those places. It was amazing how he make us sing. He made us sing uh, in one of those workshops in harmony and and it seems so simple like people like me don't really understand music and said oh we will do part and said yeah sure and start to help people singing and it feels so simple uh, it also offer us a great reflection about uh, christianity and and the world we live in in this 21st century it was but for many the the greatest highlight of our uh, weekend was of course sunday morning when he delivered a very inspired sermon, and the rest of the liturgy of the service was written and, and presided by the youth and the children of our congregation. It was an amazing weekend. And what I kept, what I'm, I really, what really, I don't know, marked me is the comment he made here and there not necessarily his talks, his lecture, comments from me about the number of children we have in a congregation. Another one that he made is, um, it was a reflection about when people left the, the sanctuary after the service, the, ch the youth, they're not children, our youth, uh, who led worship were shaking hands, and he said, he was very surprised how people uh, shook their hand, thanked them, and he said something as people um, behaving as they belong to this congregation. And there was something else he said that, man, I wish I can remember. I wrote it down, and um, I'm not sure I can remember right now. But... Um, <laughs> Hey, that's life. All of this, um, I guess it's about, um, we often tend to focus on what we do not have in our congregation. Not enough people, not enough member, not enough money. <sighs> we wish our building would be bigger, smaller, and 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 we in this rhetoric over and over and over and over congregation closing this kind of narrative of decline we need to re uh, reorganize our denomination united church of canada because we don't have the means to keep that structure and maybe it's true but once in a while we need someone coming from outside and look at us and to tell us said wow wow this this is amazing do you get this <laughs> do you get this this is really amazing oh yeah remember what he said is the energy at coffee time that's what also he made a comment, said how much people stayed for coffee time, the level of decibel, and how long do people stay for coffee time. Like I said, people look and make those comments and said, wow, do you get this? And for us, said, yeah, it's normal. People are here, they're, they're drinking coffee, they're speaking loud, the children, yeah, they're doing that. But to have someone to say, stop look at what you have treasure that celebrate that use it make it bear more fruits and it's maybe the thing we're missing 
these days in our churches, in our congregation, in our denomination. This capacity to be happy with what we have. And stop looking in the past and make it some golden years that had no flaws and everything was perfect, which was not the case. Stop looking in the future and proclaiming we will be the church of the resurrection and the future will be perfect, which we have no clue and no way to control that. And to stay in the present and to celebrate, to identify what we have, to celebrate it and stop complaining. Maybe stop complaining for just a few minutes and say, wow, we have all those volunteers here that giving us time and they don't have to do it. We have all those people giving us that kind of that money and they do not have to do it. We have all those people coming here on Sunday morning and they do not have to do it. And all those things. One thing John Bell told us in one of the workshop, if we keep repeating that we're, we're aging, we're dying, we cannot do this, we cannot do that, we use, and then wonder why people won't come. Well, we give them all the reason for not coming. We're kind of killing our message. If we kind of change the focus and said, well, we do this, we do that, we do this, we do that, Maybe they will not come like by hundreds and millions to our doors, but at least we will give a reason to come. So I hope that's what we will keep from events like John Bell, events like these uh, in the future, that we are blessed by so many gifts. And to stop to use the but, no, we are blessed with so many gifts. We need to celebrate this. We need to tell this. We need to share a good news or message or, or joy with the rest of the world and see what happens after. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. See you soon.